these are some transfer news for today on the sports chapter where uh, Newcastle United's hierarchy have unanimously agreed that Alexander Isaac would be an ideal signing to boost their attack but would need to spend almost their entire remaining transfer budget to sign the Sweden international. That is what we are picking. Chelsea have made a move to sign Khalidu Koulibaly and could still try to add Presnel Kimpembe to Thomas Tuchel's defensive options. Remember, Kimpembe, he's been told by PSG that he is surplus to requirement and he's free to find himself a new club. And a number of players face uh, being forced into coronavirus quarantine upon arrival at this year's World Cup over their refusal to get vaccinated against the disease. So that is what we are picking. If you are not vaccinated, when you get to Qatar, you would uh, have to quarantine and that would not also go well for your team but some players have made up their minds that they will not take the vaccine which is also uh, it is their right so it means that uh, national teams should go into Qatar early so that their players can serve the quarantine time and be ready for games so that is what we are picking Chelsea star Jorginho has cast doubt over his future despite expressing his love for the club. Antonio Conte hinted Tottenham are ready to carry on spending as they bid to fight on four fronts this season. Yes, the Premier League, the Champions, wherever they are, they want to fight on. Manchester United want away star Cristiano Ronaldo was offered to PSG, but they rejected him. That is what reports are suggesting. Arsenal and Manchester United are reportedly interested in a transfer for Carl Walker Peters. Rafinha is close to getting the move he wanted from Leeds to Barcelona after the Catalan club submitted a 58 million euro, which is equivalent to about 49 million pounds offer that could rise to 68 million euros with add ons. That is also equivalent to about 55 million pounds. And the Daily Mirror, if you look at the Daily Mirror, Raheem Sterling is jetting out to join his new Chelsea teammate. As Thomas Tuchel steps up his bid to land Khalidou Koulibaly, Jose Mourinho has admitted that he is a bit frustrated with Rumors' lack of activity in the summer transfer window. And Everton are considering whether to make a further offer for uh, a further offer to Wolves for midfielder Morgan Gates White after their initial £25 million bid was rejected. While Crystal Palace, Southampton, and Nottingham Forest are also monitoring the situation. Premier League clubs are considering segregating players at training grounds based on their COVID vaccination status in a bid to prevent potentially costly outbreaks. And West Ham are still interested in Chelsea striker Amado Broha, despite their inquiry for Sassuolo target man, that is Gianluca Scamaca. And Cardiff City are in the news. They are set to complete a deal to bring former Liverpool forward Sheyi Ojo to the club. And quickly, Tottenham remain keen on bringing Barcelona forward Memphis Depay back to the Premier League. But it appears the former Manchester United man would rather battle for his place at the new camp. And Liverpool have offered more than 500 children who were caught up in the chaos at the Champions League final the chance to watch a preseason match at Anfield for free. And this is good. And Neymar's hope of leaving PSG appeared to be over after clubs, including Chelsea and Manchester United, were told of his estimated £35 million yearly wage. Yes, and these clubs are saying that this is too, too, too outrageous. So these are some of the news making headlines this morning.